Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, guys, for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Snapchat account. Now, of course, this is the 2020 uh, version of this tutorial. All right. So just in case you do not know how to get a Snapchat account and create your account. So the first thing you need to do, guys, is make sure you have the Snapchat app. So let's go ahead and launch the Play Store and make sure that you download the Snapchat app. All right, so as you can see here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the app. I'm going to skip out sections that is for um, the speed of the video. It's 56.55 megabyte. All right, so now the app is um, downloaded. Go ahead and hit open or you can simply um, minimize and go to the um, this section of the screen here. Just go ahead and tap on um, Snapchat. And as you can see here, you should have the option that gives you to either log in if you have an existing account or sign up. We're just going to go ahead right from here. What we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to hit um, the sign up option. So once I hit sign up, it says get started and you have permission to make sign up easy. Tap allow when prompted and that's for the permission. So let's go ahead and hit continue. And it says allow snapshot to access your contacts. You can always deny or allow. But of course, our best experience go on um, allow. And it says make manage phone calls. Allow. These are permissions. You're going to enter your first name as well as your last name. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I've entered my name and so on. Next, you're going to sign up and accept. So as you can see here, it's going to ask for your birthday. Just go ahead and enter your birthday. All right, so once you enter your birthday, just go ahead again and hit continue. Now, you'll notice here it gives me my Snapchat angle. And of course, from here, what I'm going to do is just hit continue. You can also change the name. So if you do not like the one that's given, you can modify your angle. Maybe it will be available or not. Only thing is that this one that's generated automatically will actually be a real account. So let's go ahead again, guys, and um, change your name if you don't like it. Or just go ahead and hit continue. As I said, I like that. So I'm just going to go with the easier route. And it asks for a password. You're going to set your own personal password. All right, so I've entered the password. I've um, hidden it. You can also show to make sure that you um, know what you have placed in. I'm going to hit continue. And of course, notice here, mine, it says password must be at least eight characters. So if you're short, just go ahead and modify for eight characters for more safety. I also advise special characters as well. All right, so I've included um, 10 characters. Now I'm going to hit continue. Notice that the password is now um, accepted. Now, of course, it says password should be at least eight characters. And of course, it shows me my email. And for the email, I'm going to just go ahead now. Um, if I want to, I can change the email to something else, or if I want to, I can just keep the current email. All right, so I'm satisfied with email, so I'm just going to hit um, continue. And it says, what's your mobile number? Now from here, you can enter your uh, mobile number as a recovery number. So it should be quite simple. And I'm just going to enter my um, number off screen. Number is entered, so I'm just going to hit um, continue. And I'm waiting for the verification code. You can also have other um, options such as call me instead, or you can use the email option. It will automatically be detected. Notice I've received, and there you go. So once so once the email um, is arrived, it says find your friends, add friends, and um, view stories, and so on. And you can skip this section or just go ahead and continue. This is just the policy. And you'll notice that the account is being generated. It says loading. It shows me a bunch of my friends that are already on um, Snapchat. I can go through. I can just simply hit add if I want to, to add anybody that's not a part of my list so far. Or if I don't like this, I can just go ahead and um, skip out this all together. So I'm just going to skip. And it says Snapchat is more fun with friends. Are you sure you want to skip? And I'm just going to hit yes for now. You can add yours. Allow Snapchat to access your um, local storage photos and so on. I'm going to hit turn on. This is a permission. If you do not do this, you will not be able to use the camera so on. Snapchat storage and photos. Allow Snapchat to record audio. I'm just going to hit that. There you go, guys. You can see me there right on um, camera. And of course, I could um, switch the camera if I want. I can just go to my snaps. I can go to my camera roll if I want for my memories. And of course, I can go over to the fun stuff such as um, chat. You notice here I can add friends. I can go over to um, discover. And there you go. So we're on here. So what we go through here, you can check out um, several snaps. And there are all kind of fun stuff here that you can explore through the Discover 
chat with friends or you can search for somebody um, specific as I said um, it's just a bag of um, or a ton load of fun so that's basically how to sign up for um, snapchat and of course have fun guys all right so this is Ricardo Gardner showing you to um, sign up for 2020 for um, snapchat quite easy and intuitive all right Ricardo Gardner saying bye until next time bye